Hello, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. And you are welcome in the name of, of the Lord. Hey, we can see all of you from the, the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Welcome to WAT. Welcome, watch and talk. I wanna know the song. Renewing the mind. I'm forever your beautiful hell. And with me is Adasa. And the jealous one try. <laughs> wow, it's so so beautiful and good to have people yes, all over yes, again. Yes. We are never tired, mm. and we know you so 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 much. We want to see our beauty. Yes, and we are glad you want. Yeah hey, yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now like you know you know you know movie want to. Mm. You you seen it now. Mm. You seen it. It's called what? D Bond. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah. Here yeah, as Mommy Pia, I'll say hello. <laughs> okay, as you said earlier, we are reviewing the movie The Bond. Yes, yes. So, what, um, we're going to talk about our general overview about the movie. Like, what exactly is this movie The Bond? Ah, sorry, we forgot to add that it is a movie produced by yes, The so. Lords and Maiden and The Overcomers. That would be this. Another elm of the Vision Career International. Very true. So we are doing our movies. Our, our movies, movies our yes. Movie, our CHLM. Yes, yes. So about the bond, that movie is filled with a lot of things. Mm. But we'll not be able to we'll go through all it we'll continue going on and, and on, on, and on, and on. And on. <laughs> but we'll just talk about a few things. Yeah, very the few first things. thing is the power of having a good leader. Mm. You know, like in, in the fellowship. In the that their fellowship that you saw in the movie. Okay, sorry for those that have not watched it. Go and watch it so you understand what I'm trying to say. You know that leader was a wonderful man. Mm. What was that brother's name again? Um, bro, Dunsin. Dunsin. Dunsin is that brother's name. So the role was acted by Bro Abner Slaughter. Mm. So you know that that. That name Posh. Abner <laughs> Slaughter. <laughs> please, Abner. Please, our brother is a married man. I don't get <laughs> He's married. I don't understand. Yeah, as I was saying before, I was interrupted. <laughs> so you know. It, we could say that how the fellowship ended up at some point was because of his mode of leadership. Mm-hmm. He was actually an ash leader. He was not able to, like, he was not welcoming, mm-hmm. he was not friendly. He was always putting the blame on his executive. He's you that did this, his sister's called, they did this, that, 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 that. that. that he, was, he was not also sensitive enough to know that there were some people that missed them that were not Going even spiritually issues. inclined. Yeah. Sister Duni was passing through one thing or the other, and you know, the, the other two had their different issues that they were passing through, and he didn't even know. All he was doing was to pass blame. Sister Duni, we have that 52 sisters, and you cannot oversee them, this and that and that. So, you know, we as, whenever we find ourselves and we are given the opportunity to lead, we should learn to be good leaders. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing. Then number two, the power of forgiveness. You know, Duny, because she couldn't forgive her mother for leaving her and her stepmom for the things she has done for her, and even her father for marrying another woman, you know, it affected her when Ebele broke up with her that mm-hmm. day. It means, it seems like it's me that I'm not supposed to be shown love. Yes. You know, so that's, that was how she felt. And another thing is the power of friendship. The way she, her good friends that she made in she school made school was able to pull her, her out of what she was passing through. So, so I will not say everything finish. I will mm-hmm. not finish everything. I have to give my aunties something to say. All this respect and the aunties and the aunties are very good. Okay, so the movie The Bond is a movie of our time, of our generation, mm-hmm. talking about our our set, our group of people. But one very major strong theme for the movie is love. Mm. I love love, I beg, I beg, I beg. You don't really need to make sense. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, love, Um, it actually, the, the love concept mm. featured in every aspect. Yeah, actually. Both, because if there was love between, you know, the executives, they would have been able yeah. to see everything through. Mm-hmm. So when the, the, um, the scripture has first Corinthians 13 that talk about love, it said love is oversees every other thing you get so because there's no love there was no transparency there was no commitment you know there was no 
there was no unity and i think it also preached about the unity of the body of christ how we need to be one mm. how we need to stand as one you know and to do this also love is actually required mm. i also saw the aspect of sister Dumi and Roy Bailey, the social president the matter was actually what on love mm. so everything was just you know love love love, love. and the so-called oh, dictatoria Bro, it was this way. I and our sister start trying. All these executive how, people how, how in the, the fellowship. Brew, I mean, how, how did Moses make his tea? His coffee. He brewed it. He brewed it. it. <laughs> yes, yes. She knows it. <laughs> It's an old time radio, please. Eh, our brothers, brothers, family, you know, give me. <laughs> they don't know what they will say when they want to go. I love you. I love you. Uh, well, eh, you. I want to marry. I want to marry. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so that is that about um bond. Um we resume later to talk about real life issues yeah. in the Babe, exams are upon us, so in two weeks we'll be facing papers. You need to get your head out of your belly's matter. You have a first class to maintain. I know it's not easy. You want to understand. Welcome back, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. So welcome. now we are going deep down into the real, real life issues. issues. Yeah, so now first thing first, I want to talk about spiritual growth. You know, in the movie, we can see how spiritual growth plays about. Firstly, I want to talk about um, the life of um, Broshino. Look at him. He's someone that in the first evangelism coordinator. <laughs> eh? <laughs> and he, he struggled with pornography. Mm. Cannot see ladies in skirts. Mm. At last, he had one of the members of the fellowship where we were going out together. He now had the gods. He even spent the money of the fellowship. He now went to another fellowship, gone just like I was throwing it to the face of the other. He showed that that brother was just giving the position, but he is not spiritually inclined like to be in that position that he is. So, one thing is that many of us, when we see some brothers that are doing shake it there, and how I know this brother is spiritual. Ah, this brother knows God. This brother is going to be the next president of this fellowship. Yeah, I'm looking at it. But you don't know what that brother is. Passing yes, through, yes. maybe there's something that still needs to work on before he's giving that position. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we as believers, we should learn to grow ourselves spiritually. If um bro, I was name of this uh, bro Felix Preyo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know, you see that he and the gen sex is that because of the, the their spiritual growth, like yes. how spiritually inclined they are, they're able to help sister Duni yes. out of the depression the she was the fellowship. even the fellowship at large, yeah, they were able to because of their spiritual strength, they were able to use their strength to help those that are weak spiritually. So we don't know where we're going to find ourselves. Even that brother was saying, like I said, he is not spiritual enough. Yes. Because yes. he, as a president, he's supposed to be sensitive to what is happening in your fellowship. Point. What is happening? Even just you, your small group of executives, but you don't know what's happening within them. Okay, so, how will you know what's happening family. in the fellowship? Very true. So, you know, as believers, we don't know where we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are walking through life, you're just. When you are saying, ah, do this, do that, you'll be like, ah, that one is too much. Then what is it? No, no, we should learn to build ourselves spiritually. When you're asked to study, when you're asked to sit down with your Bible to pray, when you have the time to pray, don't just say, ah, who oh, I want to sleep, ah, who oh, I want to do this, no, I want to do that. No. If you, yes. um, your spiritual growth is very okay, yes. it's very you and you are not that stands, you have a lot of things to gain. Yes. You know, by getting spiritual um sensitivity for places not to go, things to do, to be, how to, to go do. about your life journey, in choosing a life partner and to do different things. You see, when um bro Junsi first came to Sister King, because she knew that uh, no, this brother still needs to know so God more. In. The first thing she said, No. You're not gonna pray about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> You know, some sisters will say, ah, he's my fellowship president. Ah, the no matter what he's doing. Uh, 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 uh. Some people who misquote this thing, like, uh, he's a man of God, but he's a man first. Everybody yes. is killing. Although, the, as, as much as that statement is true, it's not a, a license for you to not be taking rubbish. Mm -hmm. Like, you see that when brother calm down later, she was like, oh, see, Jimmy, yeah. okay, be like, say, this brother. There's some virtues in okay, somewhere. And all everything, yeah. But it's because she, she was spiritually mature. I don't say, ah, because he's a fellowship president. Then just, 
because it's about it and everything. Some people because of the position people take because they themselves they are not spiritual enough. Because you are this person is spiritual. Since I'm not spiritual enough, it's going to help me. To like looking everything. at his own um, physical self. qualities and even spiritual life too. So what the, the bottom line of everything I'm just trying to say is that at um, every stage of our life, we should need to build ourselves spiritually because you don't know where you're going to find yourself in the nearest future. You don't know like um, our mommy here and I don't know if she's going to be a pastor missus okay. or a reverend missus. So ma, you have to start building yourself up spiritually, you know, the midnight prayers <laughs> and everything. You don't know where God is taking to you okay. too. You understand ma? So as I was saying before, I had to, you know, you don't know maybe it's the spirit of God that is speaking through me too. <laughs> our mommy here, yeah? you sure you are checking your spirit. <laughs> <laughs> but to be sincere, we need to build ourselves spiritually in every aspect. You don't know where you see. I'm emphasizing on the, on the fact that you don't know where you meet yourself in the next future. So that's very true. true. So I don't really, guys, I don't really understand the vibe with Atasa picking me and this pastor issue. Maybe now she did, she wish she pass them to me. Please <laughs> be very, very careful. We know our limits are not crossing. Mm. <laughs> We are not crossing. No, so we expose ourselves. Just on the yeah. topic that we are in on the matter of spiritual growth, mm. I I I feel most times we get carried away by the titles and we think mm-hmm. we are covered by the positions that we are in. Yes. And um, you know, one of the things that affected the fellowship president was because he felt because he was a leader, he's always saying the right thing. Yeah. You know, until Sister Duni um actually spoke, is. Nobody called nobody called his attention to, to his, his error. Yes, orders. always putting the fault on others. And he, he now eventually noticed that there was no growth, there was no fellowship, there was nothing, everything was just dry. Then he now met with the fellowship presidents and Roy Bailey from the other, you know, harm. And he was wondering how was he able to um run his um, period and it was successful and he, he also gave him some logic and things you need to do and be watchful mm-hmm. about so what i say is that spiritual growth is is a continuous journey yeah. and no matter the position you are either an usher or the ceo or the head of the church with, with um, growth is consistent mm-hmm. you have to you have to consciously grow and do not take anybody mm-hmm for granted because that the grace you might be praying and fasting you know to god for might be mm-hmm. on that little sanctuary keeper yes. which just the sweeping mm-hmm. your mm-hmm. church yes and if um the executive ham is not unified and successful how can the body be, be. but we thank god because we have people who have come to them that the body of christ is not about them it's about the world that was how we have the likes of bro felix sister Trunayo, and some other people coming to pray you know for the fellowship another point um, i would like to raise on the real life issue is the power of unforgiveness mm-hmm. that thing can kill and can you know it's it's chalky it, it, it's like it's suffocating mm-hmm. it's very tight because i've i find myself in that kind of show mm-hmm. and the point is that consciously or unconsciously you are living your life on a on a static basis that even you yourself you're not growing. So seeing someone like Sister Duni in that position, yeah. being a sister called she, it was little she could give her because when people come to her to meet her concerning issues, mm. she herself is going through sure, that pain yes, and has yes, not yes, found yes. solutions. I thought it's just that she's just quoting scriptures that they are not revelational or no power in it because she's going through it and because she doesn't have um a a family or a union where she can pour out. Mm. If 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 um there was um unity and love and and miss the escorts, he would have sat up on it, mm-hmm. prayed about it, mm. and she would have received a healing. Mm. You no, know, this pain that she had had been since when she was a mm. child. Yeah. And those memories keep coming back on her, you know, giving us so um low self-esteem and there's one key thing I remember of forgiveness. You cannot move forward. You are going to be at the point, and even the Lord will not hear what you are saying, because it's even in the scripture, the Bible says that if you are coming to give your offering, and you remember that person did house back here, we will never forgive. Run back. You say God not to like money like that. What you talk? Say run back and go and seek forgiveness first before you come and give. Because most times when they say obedience is better than sacrifice, we don't really understand. It's not really the sacrifice, but the obedience, the heart that we have towards what we are doing. To. God, I pray God really help us. So if they are going through a, a state of unforgiveness, it's, it is never always easy. Mm-hmm. That I promise you. 
it is not always easy and more harm is done to you because the person that you are basing for working freely is working freely mm -hmm. He's doing things, you know, you are sleeping instead of you are seeing the person. You are eating, you are seeing the person. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that alone is, is, it can, can shut a person's life. As Christians, it's more even here with the Jesus is coming soon. I mean, I won't carry my kaya go every morning. If one day hurts, may you remain here. May I walk? So that's what's your take on unforgiveness. To be sincere, we've always talked about this many times on the show. Yeah, true. And to be sincere, as um, Paul has said, it's not so easy. It's not. It's not so easy, like, to forgive people because the art is always there like always so this there. person could do this for me and some people that we do some people don't know they offended they yeah, don't believe exactly. in their life really but well with this viewpoint of my life i'm moving forward mm -hmm. and you don't know i will see them and you'll be feeling so much hey this person offended me you don't know i'll be having high blood pressure you don't know whenever you see them your heart will be cut and say geez this person again i don't know if you have a sleepless night you don't know i'll be thinking of different things different. so the main thing is just to forgive let go and if you know you cannot do it yourself speak to people that can help, help you. you sometimes some thoughts are just so deep that you cannot just forgive the person on your own you need people to speak to, to counsel you, counsel oh. you on how to do it you understand for that unforgiveness to be and i think brothers and sisters in the lord Please be receptive, be open. Yes. You know, some of us are so quick to condemn, and they are even, in, you know, and some of us don't have a smiling face. Mm -hmm. And so, Jesus, serious pass everywhere, is just pack. Ah, please. You know, so like, and that has the open teeth like this, everything. Who have open teeth? <laughs> <laughs> People see this lady, she they always smile. <laughs> Who have got the open teeth? Don't let you smile like that. But in that, you say, ah. Oh, you stare at what's doing this girl like this girl. <laughs> I don't ask. But what you like if you are receptive, you have a welcoming spirit of mm -hmm. people will find it easy to come and call out mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. I pray say may God help Amen. us. God, 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 God. Please, please. Welcome back. It's Apple. Get cool, <laughs> <laughs> so lastly, before we conclude, we are going to be talking about clarity in relationships necessary ah uh, very necessary because very we important. youth of nowadays we are very bad in that yes yes you know yes. we we, we don't learn to create boundaries there will be idea ah, this is that small dates yeah? you know if what and they set the boundaries <laughs> <laughs> you know you know I, I guess if this one doesn't work maybe some work maybe mm -hmm. shall be I will not ask her how to go. The thing which I'll be going now, is good. in the under, under like that. And the Holy Spirit under the step. Yeah, period. See, for instance, you know, bro, Felix now, he has to tell sister to say, I'm in a serious relationship, bro. Mm. Don't go and think, say, can it come? It's happening. You know, because you know, there are the two, there two executives that were serious. They don't have a close. Yeah, they, they don't have a close. To a friend. At some mm. point, even, bro. Dulce was um, thinking they were having mm -hmm. something. Together. So you have to tell her that there's something with me and someone. So it's not like I'm having face for you. Go and be there serious with Bro Dulce. Go and be serious with Bro Dulce. Yes, and he was the only one that noticed the, the crushing. Yeah. And the eye. And I'm saying, eh? Bro the Gatoria brother is crushing. Like, I can't watch one day. Yeah, so, Sham. Then also, you know, Ebele. He has to go and deal with what he was facing at mm -hmm. home, it's you know, with um, sister Amaka. Mm. Amaka that loves Amaka him to chuku return. Chuku. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Amaka that disappoints, it's not that disappoints Amaka. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse is the case. Reverse is the case. So, mm. he had to settle that before he came back to, um, to, to whoever God has. And then, bro, uh, what was bro doing? So, so, he had to settle himself before he came back to talking to that's right. So in in life we have to yeah. You said? I said they were on the journey of faith together, even though it was not clear to us, but <laughs> we believe that along the line faith will work things out. Amen. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So we should learn to clarify relationships because that's what caused heartbreak. <laughs> he broke my heart. He broke you. Did he ask you how? Did he mm. tell you that he wants to marry you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Saying he broke your heart. You know, many of us we are not in a relationship, but we are in a relationship. Mm. We are not in an official will you marry me relationship, but we are in the less Let's see how it goes. How it goes, relationship. We should let to clarify. Mm -hmm. Says boundaries. I take our ramaje breakfast. It's not every time you want to be eating breakfast. We sisters, you brothers. Let us learn to clarify this thing. I love it. <laughs> I don't know. Please, those that understand me, understand me. <clears throat> Please. All these things, to be sincere, it causes heartbreaks and strain in relationships. People that you're supposed to be in a relationship with. When I mean relationship, like friendship. 
you know, for a while, for a long time, that you guys have yourself in the future, you will have used all those kind of things to destroy relationships. So we learn to clarify, learn to set boundaries. We are friends. It's not like there's anything coming in between. As more, some people, eh, they will tell them that we are friends, though. But, but, they still they, have... but still, there's still something between them. Mm-hmm. So we should just learn as believers and as youth because it's very, very rampant among we youth you nowadays. Too. We should learn to clarify our relationships. I thought you said she would be home already. Yeah, she should be here anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, and there she is. <laughs> don't need, don't need. Don't speak. What is, ah, ah, ah. what is it? What do people want from me? All of you should leave me alone. You guys should leave me alone. I'm tired. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I know I'm a terrible person. I'm a useless daughter and I'm a terrible leader. Nobody wants to be with me. I'm no good to anyone. I get it. So you guys should leave me alone. Leave me. I get it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Sorry, I'm tired. Okay, so do you have anything for us? Eh? Hmm. Want to drink from the well? Hey, oh, we God. have come to draw. Jesus. To draw. I beg you. Let's draw. <laughs> to draw. <laughs> okay, now, so we have clarity. Um, clarity on relationship. You know, sometimes when I, when, I, when I actually watched the movie, I was wondering how has the world made friendship so difficult? Mm. There was a time where you can you can just you can honestly have a male friend, and yes. people know that we are just friends. We be sincere with each other, but these days, mm-hmm. I don't know. The world is corrupt. Children of nowadays, what's wrong with people? In our time and our head, all those twenty-first century <laughs> children. I don't know what's wrong with them. Now, nah, so they deceive yourself. Now, the generation you see, all those children are just giving birth to in this. Ah, ah, God! But sincerely, sincerely, a lot of mess happening in the Christian world mm-hmm. now is happening because of lack of clarity. Yeah. Please, let's be clear. Because even sometimes the truth is you might not even be thinking towards that direction. Mm-hmm. But unknown to you, your unconsciously your mind is drawn to that very handsome brother or that very beautiful sister because you have seen the virtues of God. Mm-hmm. And Bible even say either find a wife. Find wife is no easy to find you. And this person is standing, you know, right in front of you. So I love the bold step that Brother Felix took in the movie. And now he had to make it clear that ah, sister, I hope you are not thinking what the devil is helping you to think. Because I'm already in a very, very complicated and serious relationship. And she was like, no. Thank God to her, her, her bags of success. She was focused and she had what she wanted to, you know, attain and clear out. And even at some point, the president was even thinking that I, I did this brother is already, you know, eyeing this sister here and there and those stuff like that. So please, let's be very, very clear, especially when it has to come with opposite sex. sex. It is very, very You know, the important. thing about um, we youth is that, you know, we want something good. Let's, let me just put it that way. You know, when, so when you see, good. so when you see someone that fits, like, you know, first thing you say, ah, this brother, and you find brother. Ah, so like spirit. Ah, so like I can pray like this. Ah, he is the one. <laughs> you know, that's kind of thing. So what God when, is saying. When, when you not get, um, okay, keep, okay, keep, let, let me help you. Okay. You know, there was a time like that, um, I think I was in church in the service and there was this very, very young boy that I was praying and was passing and I, my mom just said, be careful, is it the way? <laughs> Inside church, you need direction. Oh yeah, so, you want to say, yeah, when you come back to you know, yeah, I was thinking it was a problem that we were having yeah, you know, this sister fellowship. Yeah. So I just talked about that. Like, ah. So it's not only me, it's all of you. We need to go and wash up. It's actually true because when you see like someone that is spiritually inclined, yeah, yeah, you is, have, is you have the physical man, man yeah. and is this is that is that you 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 tend to think that is it the one? Mm. But you know we you we have to come fo- take your focus back to God, to God, yes. that God and just looking at you, let your will alone be, be done. done. Not that I should not be saying. Let me just be friends with him first. Let's see anything come out of me. If the brother is not a very nice brother, like, ah ah. But now you know are nice though. What we waited for has come. You know, this will not come to pass. So that's where, you know, lack of boundaries come in. Yeah. You understand? So just learn to create boundaries. Don't think yes. that if the brother is the one, God will reveal to him himself. And some of, you know, some, some things that come up from this in particular situation can be crazy. There was a particular time like that his sister came up and she was like, she had been a friend with this 
brother for about six years. And I think on the, um, the, on the seventh year, between the mid of the year, he came up with the invitation card and was inviting her to the wedding. And I was like, ah, you know, Star K, can you imagine? And I was like, so, did you guys ever, like, were you people dating? Did they, did they make his intention? I said, no. But we talk every morning, we talk in the afternoon, we talk in the my sister, your ribs are missing. <laughs> <laughs> the, your ribs are your missing ribs. I've not found you. Not found at person. All. But I think it was also unfair yes. on the part of the brother. So you brothers like have, playing games. Yes, stop. And yeah, it's so funny. You are talking about we're talking about marriage. You're not talking about um, this boyfriend girlfriend scandal. Marital issue is very sensitive, mm -hmm. and we want to make any lady to be on her feet to be serious. We don't they pray, we daily hotel, we don't go to school, do university. What is left? It's <laughs> marriage. <laughs> so, like on a very serious note, mm -hmm. please and please, both brothers and, and sisters, if nobody has made it so clear Abby, to you, please. You don't have to please, assume. Assumption has cost and a lot. The come, thank you, and when the person comes, thank you. When the person comes, don't be too quick to say yes. Mm -hmm. Irrespective of probably maybe the person is in the same church with you, you know the person's spiritual background mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. There are some there are some things you need to watch out for. Mm -hmm. It might be true that Sakurayo had actually received one or two things about um Rodunse. She knew that it was not the proper time for him for her to receive him yet. Mm -hmm. So if we need to wait, please wait and let God be with the person. Don't go with his mindset that I will change this person. Mm -hmm. I will work this or work that. Something years without change. Ah. Many years without this. Please, mm -hmm. the highest we can do is actually to pray. Mm -hmm. For the person, yeah. well, this relationship matter. My brother, my sister, you no know, go end there. We keep on talking about it yes. because it's very, very important. important. It's God yeah. that is dictated it, and if you did it, it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is right. Please, guys, go and watch the bond. Sincerely. Watch it. We need it. We yeah, yeah. youth of nowadays. We, we really need it. We really need, yeah. need it. So please kindly watch it on them dollar mic. Bamelo's YouTube mm -hmm. channel, the down, <laughs> and have a nice time. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Apony TV, into yes. bracket Gideon's mission. mission. Subscribe, oh, please. You don't have to so pay for subscription. No, it's free. Yeah, and also follow us on Instagram at underscore watch and talk underscore what. what? Follow us. You can leave us a message, comments, on whatever you want to talk to us about. about we are always us. there to listen to you because yes, we yes. love you so much. So, so much. It's been a nice time yet today. Yes, so my happy. beautiful, fine shite. No, <laughs> All right. Easy. Take care. Take care. See you, care next, to see you time. next time. We love you. Bye. Bye.